And welcome to yet another electrifying episode of the best science and technology show on TV. Let me see me, Zaga CBs are teenagers on a mission right here on SABC One of Zanzi for sure. Proudly brought to you by SABC Education. Ika mage usia. Kwanza dingbong zima bedu na ni sana mgeni alogu. We've got another epic episode kalogu that will be hitting umma bona kuto wa kula mtange. Now we're always learning about kuto mspai mtange. We will be learning all about how we learn things. What? Ija lo ganye se mtange. We're learning about the science of learning. How we take in information. How we store it, how we use it on the Z, why is the message on his mondo, and also ways we can actually increase your brain power. Yo, 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 I'm a ninga male ninga mlanje. Well, now that's something you can definitely learn from. And while we learn, we'll be learning about learning. Ha, I can learn about Dini, but I'm just jalo, you just see. Now we've got a real brain teaser of an episode coming your way. So, salapan to nete zege and prepare your mind. Which pelasi expanding on man? Because more in a bit, you know, it's still back. What's I can do for the next half hour? Let's get it. Coming up on TOMZ. We'll find out what exactly the difference is between your left brain and your right brain, and why some of us use one or the other more. Think ahead in the learners amaning all over South Africa by taking technology into schools and making learning more accessible to people. So as funa gabanzi get about mental control when we learn all about the art of mentalism. Why go clockwise, but now we take a look at how people took information man do. Mhm. Let's get the show started. So just because mm, yeah, or maybe you are good at the art. Our brains all work differently. Now Tina like how TOMZ Are you a logic or a creative person? The zombie. Why? Because uh, Elo, in, in, in front, say logic mm -hmm. and plus I'm a creative because uh, I'm involved in designing and stuff like that. I'm a creative person. Also. Why? Because I create mm -hmm. many things. Creative um, or logic? Creative, I creative. Creative. Why creative? I like imagining things. It's just like um, I like imagining things about what's going to happen in the future and oh, yeah? stuff like that. Yeah, uh -huh. Something like that. What's the most creative thing you've, that you've ever done? Um, design clothes and posters and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Man, I always clean up things. I don't leave mess. Mm. The type of clothes away. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, shout out to Tom's SBC One, Zanzi for sure. Ayo. Shout out to Tom's SBC One, Zanzi for sure. Ayo. To T O M Z on SBC One, Zanzi for sure. Well, I want to know. Do you know the difference between the left and the right hand brain? <laughs> Do you know the difference between the left hand side of the brain and the right hand side? No, I don't think I know. No, I don't know. Okay, cool. Do you know the difference between the left and the right brain? But not in detail. Uh -huh. Do you know the difference between the left and the right hand brain? Yeah, I know the different. The, the left right the left side is logic and the right side is creative. When I bang up logic and others are more out there and creative. Are you the creative type and logical type and Maybe a bit of both because you have to I'm a man of versatility. I am sure we scientists need to get that we all have ways of processing information differently. Why go no bangela for this is that some of us are left brain and some of us are right brain. There's generally more than one side to everything, and the brain is no exception. Now, the brain's right hemisphere controls the muscles on the left side of the body, and the left hemisphere controls the muscles on the right side of the body. So it kind of works in opposites. Oh my God, why is that your right eye? It's the left side of your brain that controls that. So the left hemisphere is dominant in language. So the left brain processes what you hear and handles most of the talking. It's also in charge of logic, facts and maths. Now the right hemisphere is mainly in charge of spatial abilities, face recognition and processing music. The brain's right side also helps us comprehend visual imagery and make sense of what we see. Whether going like your left brain or right brain, there's a field of study out there that will suit your skills and your personality. Now I think I heard that Tamil learners are learning all over South Africa by taking technology into schools and making learning more accessible to people everywhere. Now we recently visited them to find out more. Check it out.
Your first boys all on a mission. My first is a cool angle topic is an amkani. The science of learning will touch down in Santa Johannesburg. So put naga bands about EI School Africa. We don't know what it is, but it has to do with science and technology. See you and me in this mission. Let's get it. Since then, I've got passion. I'm trying to just chill out a bit. You see, technology is something that I can join. It's cool, and so when you see me, Jan, come on, come on, come on. Me and Pierre, welcome to TOMZ. Thank you. So, I'm Malam mm Mukheri. Mhm. Um, of yours, what's the kind of work? Can you please introduce yourself and tell us about your profession? Okay. So, I'm Malam Nolundi Walaza, and I work for a program called iSchool Africa, and I'm the program manager. Yes. So you need iSchool Africa? Okay, iSchool Africa is basically an iPad learning program mm -hmm. where we go into schools uh, with the solution where there are 20 iPads and they come in a case and we go into schools with that. But the most critical uh, part of the project is that we have facilitation or training. Okay. So our facilitators teach teachers how to teach through technology. Okay. And I think that's the most uh, critical part of the program. Okay. Yeah. So in Hambi College, you high schools? So in Mendy, I'm not in high school Africa is to work in under-resourced, underprivileged okay. schools. So that means is Golo say in the townships, is Golo in the villages, so all over South Africa. So basically that's the majority of South Africa. So in your seven when you have the technology, you say Golo and you have to learn how to learn how to learn how to learn So you have to learn how to so in your technology, technology, what it does is that it comes into the classroom and helps uh, the teachers improve the learning outcomes. Okay. So it enhances education. So mm -hmm. sudden, abandona, they are more interested in education, more interested in in. It's not just the boring textbook. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a You have a textbook inside the tablet. Yeah. So you have an aspect where a textbook, a connect we we iPad, mm -hmm. but the other aspect is that it's app based. Okay. So all the learning material is translated into app. So the idea is you can use my textbook, my favorite part with iPad. Is it ganja? Okay. So obviously, he would say that. I mean, when I went to school, for example, as funda, get with the textbook. Mm. So you don't interact with the textbook. You just read the text and you come back. But what the what technology does, you can interact with that. Yeah. With the, you can also look at uh, background research. So uh, I think what it has done is definitely improved um, the, the kids' ability to consume the work, mm. to consume the schoolwork. Okay. So tell me, Guti, how are you making sure Guti that technology is accessible for every student? So seven and I'm a corporate. Sebenza ne government, sebenza ne zini any civil society agencies. So they'll come to us and then we will be the implementers of the project. Okay. So they'll say they want to get into technology and education mm -hmm. and then this is our solution. So we'll go there, it's a six month fixed program. We work with the teachers, uh, making sure that they are trained and then we get them into the classroom, make sure that they are comfortable with teaching uh, through technology. Is the project well received? Yeah, so far in Gashro, because we are in 160 schools across the country. Okay. And I'm talking uh, deep rural South Africa, to to uh, townships, so here in Soweto, Alexandra, but all the way down in KZN. So since the project is done, have you seen the progress Corner, the success of it? I say we definitely have, because if you look at a, a, a young rural girl from Guazulu Natal who's uh, who her social conditions are not the best, but and she walks she walks to school five kilometers to school. She has what she, that program has done for her is give her access to technology, mm -hmm. but also make sure that by the time she gets to to the workplace, she is in the same uh, in the same standard as everyone else and can compete in that environment. Okay, so Jan, again, what are the future developments for high school Africa? For me, to really to reach um, every child in South Africa, every child who is in a remote place who wouldn't ordinarily have access to technology. Mm. And obviously what we bring is the best technology possible. Mm. So to make sure they interact with that technology and to make them ready for, for not only the workplace, but for, for life. And we know that technology is, is really taken over every aspect of life and to make sure that kids interact with it as early as possible mm. so that they can advance in whatever career that they want. Yo, what an awesome initiative that's helping young South Africans grow and go further. <laughs> Almost way to log, so it's fun like a banter, but the secret art of mentalism. Stay right where you are. Oh my god. Come. Come.
Chris Amalanga, a teenage is on a mission. And I welcome you to SABC One. Zansi for sure. Now, Mr. Jigar Bafet, we are taking a look at how the brain works and to detect the first one is the information story, Sharan Jani, and how we learn, and also some useful tricks on how we can learn more. Some of you may have heard of mentalism, but get up on the In mentalism, Mr. Jani is a performing art where the performers seem to have amazing mm. mental abilities. Now, a mentalist now will be able to tell you things about yourself which you didn't even think was possible that they could know. Yo. Your fresh boy still on the mission, but it's a good mission yet, and I'm trying to the science of learning. So far, I shall a mentalist, just because I'm a band, good to get a hini in mentalist, no good to see. What is mentalism? That's not an easy lazy, it's a seven to talk. It's being in this mission, let's get it. This part of the mission is to be fair to Slelunu Marco, who's a mentalist, who's a child of Gabanzu. What is a mentalist? No, good to see. Bye, Enza, and Abanta Babiza, and I'm a mentalist. Marco, how are you doing? All right, Kelly, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. Welcome to TOMZ. Great. So tell us, what is a mentalist? A mentalist is a magician of the mind. There are only a very, very few of us professional mentalists in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we use the mind. I use it for entertainment and education purposes. Mm -hmm. but it's basically to show people how you can use your minds productively in all sorts of areas of life. So when you say you help people to concentrate better, yeah. uh, you hypnotize them. Is it the no, same I thing? I don't really hypnotize them. I just mm -hmm. help them to uh, focus on using their mind productively, how to shut off outside noise. Mm -hmm. And I also work on improving their memory and their uh, mind ability so that they can concentrate and retain more information. So when they're reading something or studying, mm -hmm. it stays in their mind for long periods of time. Is it something that you train yourself or you're born with it? I think you're born with, a, with some sort of abilities, but you have to train yourself. It's very, very important to practice all the time. So I do crossword puzzles, I do a lot of uh, numerical puzzles that I solve every single day. I watch people's body language, I mm -hmm. do all sorts of things. I watch my students when I teach them and see how they react to certain situations. And you live and learn all the time. Okay, so tell me about the core principles of mentalism. Mentalism uses mathematics, psychology, mm -hmm. a lot of memory. Okay. Um, psychological suggestion in the sense that I will say something to somebody and make them maybe choose a certain certain object or think of a certain country or think of a certain color okay all those sort of things just by the way I phrase a specific question okay cool so I, I want to test your mentalism <laughs> right right now so I don't know maybe what trick what, what can we do so I can... all right so I'll tell you what okay I want you to maybe think of a country any country in the world okay just think of a country I need you to know what continent it's in okay all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to name the continent. Okay. I'm going to watch your body language. Okay. And then you'll give me clues without realizing that you're giving me clues, and I will try and pick up on what it could be. Okay. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Let's make it fun. So I want you mm -hmm. to think of a country. I also want you to think of some sort of food. Some okay. Some sort of food okay. item. It can be anything in the world. It mm -hmm. can be a main course, an hors d'oeuvre, a, a dessert, a sweet, a chocolate, a fruit, okay. a vegetable, anything. Okay. Okay. So let's go with the country first. I'm going to name the continent. So I don't want you to say anything. Okay. Just think yes or no. Okay. All right. North America. Oh, you've got a good poker face there. I can't mm. read anything. That's good. <laughs> All right, South America, Africa. Oh, that looks promising. Asia, Europe. Okay, I'm definitely thinking Africa. Okay. I'm definitely thinking of a country in Africa, and I want you to think of the first letter. Just visualize the first letter for me. I don't think it's South Africa. You wouldn't think it's too obvious. No. Nope. Uh, but I think it's a country fairly nearby. Mm -hmm. um, first letter, I think it starts with, just think of it, look at me. Um, either an M or an N. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking, so it's, I don't think it's Madagascar. I think more Namibia. Namibia? Are you thinking of Namibia? It was Namibia. Seriously. Yeah. So the viewers are not going to think that we cheated and you just. No, okay. no, it was, right. it was okay, literally let's Namibia. Let's go with your food item. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you, do you, is it a food that you like? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you to imagine eating this food right now, if it's possible? Yeah, you might need a knife and a fork. It might be a sandwich or something. Okay. Just imagine. Must I use my hands? Uh, don't don't okay. show me what you're doing. Okay. So just in your mind, imagine you're eating this food. Okay. okay. Just imagine what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm sensing it's, it's quite juicy. Yeah. Okay, and quite sweet. Mm -hmm. Is there more than one of them? Yeah. Is it a specific color? Yeah. Um, all right. Um, can it be different colors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's quite juicy. It's a. Uh, okay, it's some sort of fruit, but mm -hmm. it's, it's little. It's little items. It's like. It's not. I wouldn't say strawberries. I'd say maybe grapes. <laughs> Are you thinking of grapes? Seriously. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> it's grapes. Wow, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> That's how mentalism works. Okay, so tell me, so I, I heard you mentioning look at me. Yeah. So mentalism has to do so with a lot of psychology, a lot of body language. I'm watching your reactions. You don't even realize you're giving me clues. Just by the way you move your eyes, or just by the way you look from side to side, or what you do with your hands, that gives me clues in terms of what you're thinking of. So how do you, how, I mean, different people will give you sure. different reactions. So what I've done is we've been talking a little bit off air mm -hmm. um, before we started when we met and I watched you and I 
said certain things to you and I watched how you reacted and that gave me a little bit of a clue as to how your body language works. Oh. And now, so now when I ask you questions, I know what to look for. Oh, wow. Um, when I work with strangers or people I don't know, it takes mm -hmm. me like a minute or two to get to read them properly. But once I, once I figured out what they're thinking of, then it's easy. Oh, wow. So that's how mentalism works. Mentalism works because knowing the psychology of people allows you to influence them. Now, we instinctively respond in certain ways to certain situations. This hardwired system is designed to keep us safe by helping us make quick decisions. Mentalists have trained themselves to know what our automatic responses are and use this knowledge to manipulate us gently by using triggers and planting suggestions that make us naturally respond in a predictable way. Now, their prediction of the way that we respond to certain suggestions can often be misinterpreted as psychic powers. So in mentalism, it's actually a skill that mentalists have trained themselves to use. Now, we react in predictable ways if the right suggestion is made. In mentalism, it's a skill that to read people's body language and expressions. Why? They can learn to tell about what they're doing or what they're doing. When they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing it. Hook up with us on Facebook and on Twitter and do such things. Also, mentalism, you can mentalism. Yeah, man, yeah. Is it something that you could master? Because it's a skill that you Coming up, we go back in time in clockwise with this for Negabanza about the history of learning. We check out some amazing online content like Panago Cyberspace and we get some awesome career advice. Oh, I doubt Sebo Yako na Manch. But the science of the brain, we've also checked out the left brain, which is illogical, and the right brain is generally more creative. Got there are actually also links between both sides of the brain. Chalogany, when I say like your left brain is responsible for understanding language, go to get your right brain, you is responsible for interpreting things like a tone. So, your right hand side, Neka, is going your right brain. It's more on the emotional side. When I get a or left brain, or right brain, comes to the right brain, comes to the right brain, of us. Education and study is at our fingertips, and teaching has become a science that uses methods that are proved to work. But finally, education is something a lot of us take for granted, but it's not always been accessible to Wonga Umdu. Why there are still many places in Namkanja, even other in South Africa, where education is actually not accessible. Now, again, clockwise, we'll just tell more info on education throughout history. Check it out. One of the earliest means of formal teaching was human speech. Now, Pamkwe textbooks can have formal schools, Abanduana simply learn from their families through the spoken word. Mandulu guess stories, folklore, histories, and news were transmitted and maintained through the spoken word. Now, since writing was not common, Gezansuku, memorizing these stories was considered an important skill. In ancient Greece, Homer's Iliad and the Odyssey were poems that were performed publicly. Now, when performers learned them, they were learned through listening and not through reading. But by the 5th century BC, written documents existed in many parts of ancient Greece. The Greek philosopher Socrates believed that education should have continued to be transmitted through the spoken word. He kind of saw learning things from writing as cheating and even got very angry when one of his students claimed to have learned a poem from hearing it, but he was actually secretly reading it out loud. In memory, can be trained to store more information and you can actually exercise in Now, there are exercises that can increase the functioning of both your left, which is the more logical brain, and your right, which is the more creative brain. Oh, fresh boy, Caddy did some investigation on brain training. So tonight, again, it's cyberspace. What's going on, Zats? We are checking some amazing brain training apps in Namkhanji. So put on those thinking caps because it's about to go crazy. Ilomo City is a great Android app with brain training mini games that are fun and effective at exercising your mental muscles. You just have to create an account and choose the brain muscle you want to exercise. And Lab Planner is open to help you create and customize daily brain exercise routine like a gym for your brain. How dope is that? Another gym type app for your brain is the Rosetta Stone Fit Brains app, which has more than 360 games and training sessions designed to sharpen memory, concentration, and other mental functions, and it keeps scores of your progress. And finally, the Elevate app with practical language and math skills like the estimation, comparing values, name recall, and reading and listening to our comprehension. So go online and start pumping up those brains. Do it now. Oakland, like I'm trying to see a whole mga look at a career that might be just fit for when. It's a career that we've looked at before, Koto. Okay, we're looking at it again, I'm trying because it's one job that there are never enough people doing, hey? Now, all Tisha Aga shape young lives and their work can be very rewarding. Now, they also provide a valuable service to the community. Now, I get what it takes to study teaching. Teaching, you'll need a national senior certificate with good enough marks to enter a university or diploma course. 
The compulsory subjects depend on the field of study you choose to teach. There are different ways of obtaining a teaching degree. One of the more flexible ways is to first complete a bachelor's degree at a university of either three or four years, depending on the course concerned, followed by a postgraduate certificate in education. A second means of obtaining a teaching degree is by the Bachelor of Education degree. Now, the Bachelor of Education degree is a four-year program of study. The National Professional Teachers Organization of South Africa on www.naptosa.org.za. That's www.naptosa.org.za. So why not think about becoming one of those awesome people who shape and inspire the great minds of the future? A general teacher, you could be training a future president, a science genius, or a musical prodigy, or a great artist. Yeah, get back to London. It's like education. Can look why it teaches a people who should never ever take for granted. Come on, education is a very valuable tool, and it can push you down, get down, like into a really rewarding career. Oh, come on, you guys, starting parts number five should be able to some career advice on how they educated themselves to what they're doing now. Kids out there, I'd encourage you to interact with technology in any way you can. Through phones, through tablets if you've got, through computers, go to your learning centers, go to your libraries and interact with technology. What technology gives you is a resource beyond your textbook. So we are going to go to into textbook, we research, Maubona is into TV, we research and you build your own knowledge in this in the in that way. And we know that now it's a knowledge economy, so you cannot survive without knowing certain things. So it's not enough anymore that is into those funded textbook. So for those of you watching the show who would like to learn how to become a mentalist, basic tips I can give you are firstly you need to know a little bit about psychology. So maybe look at a psychology degree, something with numbers, maybe statistics or mathematics because that helps your brain to really work properly. And then maybe find a mentalist out there who can help you, who can guide you, read lots of books, study people. I think watching people is a key thing. So when you're maybe in a shopping center or at a movie or at a sporting event, watch how people interact and watch how people behave. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yes, my first experience, my social sessions were to last come and I go Facebook now, go Twitter. Special number to the solar car excited me so much. Yeah, I just got a single ball about on the ball. Oh, it's throwback episode from back then. But otherwise, people, if you find fun and on the ball, you can go Facebook, Tio and Z, go Twitter. Twitter at and Tom's TV and SABC One. Twitter, Facebook, Insta. Zone. I give it to any pelega looking to be tattooed on our plan to set them by getting on those who are overflowing with urazi and all the learning that we have done today has left you feeling energetic and ready for action. The kuba ni na lapema kani shows in kabanga na na Facebook and Twitter pages and do not forget to check out the TOMZ website for more info on the show. The main way that you are going to look for is to find your friend like the TOMZ and CBS. But for now, next time on TOMZ. We spend almost a third of our lives asleep. Got to attract a gonzaga and go to during this time, job us poop. But why are scientists interested in sleep? Why again? How do they measure it? Sifmani Kugaka is Teveche. We get real with mental illness. Job us was told about the symptoms and treatment options from an expert.